The Robinson Williams Community Center became our partner in January of 2021. And the very first thing we worked with with them was helping them to get certified as a food bank of Northeast Louisiana food pantry site. Since that time, we've been able to uh, help place cooling equipment here to increase their capacity. The LSU Ag Center co-wrote a grant with the Farm to School program that helped to put in the uh, beginnings of the food pantry garden here at the Robinson Williams site. So the first initial 10 beds that you see here were a result of that LSU Ag Center grant. We collaborated with Senator uh, Katrina Jackson with her My Louisiana Garden program to put in additional beds. So at this point, there are 13 beds in place with four more planned, plus a small orchard that is here that is going to be able to provide year-round food for the food pantry. The food pantry distributes food on a regular basis, one time a month using USDA commodities, but the goal is that the fresh produce will begin to be available weekly to clients at the food bank and to those who are in need and food insecure in the community. We have a lot of older customers that come out here, and if we can get their kids and their grandkids involved with this, uh, a lot of this growing they can then take home. And so at that point, they don't necessarily have to get out to get access to fresh fruits and vegetables. It's grown right there in their backyards. People have a great distance to go to get fresh fruits and vegetables, and sometimes they can't get that transportation there. And by being right here in the community, uh, families can just walk across the street. Or in some cases, when they are shut in, we we'll even deliver the food to them. And so I think that will be a, a big factor for them getting and eating fresh fruits and vegetables. We've had kids come out and, and look at our garden and say, hey, what can I plant? So we had them plant some corn and stuff. I think they're eager and, and willing to, to learn how to grow fresh fruits and vegetables and then too to eat them. You know, because sometimes they like, you know, I don't know what this squash tastes like or this eggplant tastes like, but once they try it, they're super excited about it. This area, and I could just tell you with children, you would think you wouldn't see vitamin D deficiencies, but we're inside now. Kids have video games and they have this and that and they're not getting out and being as active. So when they come into the garden, they're not just getting the vegetables and the fruit, but they're getting that sunlight and they're getting vitamin D, which guess what? That decreases depression. It helps with mental illness. So we're, they're getting so many benefits just from coming out, not just for the children, but even for our elderly that can't get around and get what they need. We can pick some things for them and take it to them and our children can come out and not just eat healthy but they get to be active by helping to actually till the soil or help pick the vegetables from the garden so they're actually being healthy and active as well. We have a place here that has some of the richest soil in the world. Some of the uh, strongest agricultural systems for row crops in the world and we have people here who are hungry and there's no reason at all that people in this community should be hungry. But we've had a loss of knowledge. We've lost that connection with the ground. We've lost how to, how to garden and how to farm and how to take care of ourselves and our community. We always have had a strong connection to helping others in the community. When someone is in the community is in need, we share. Well, this is just another way we can share. We can grow a little bit extra in our gardens get back to being in touch with the land and providing something from the earth and something from ourselves also to the community. We could have a farmer's market out here where we can grow this stuff and then allow uh, people to come in and, and purchase some fresh grown vegetables. Uh, even the home growers, they can bring it to the farmer's market and then they can uh, uh, sell their stuff or donate their stuff to nonprofit organizations.